This is Single Pack Link. Instead of rescuing hostages and murdering terrorists from hundreds of yards away with a high-powered rifle, players will instead murder the hell out of innocent balloons in silent scope single pack link mode called Balloon Shot. It takes about 15 seconds to load this minigame to empty GBAs. Once loaded, player 1 will select from one of three time-based options. Short, which is a 110 second match. Normal, which is a 180 second match. And Long, which lasts for 300 seconds. The player with the highest score is declared the winner from the very boring results screen. Like the single player game, players control a cursor mimicking the viewpoint of a sniper's scope. Each player can shoot an unlimited amount of bullets, five rounds at a time before needing to reload. Holding L makes the reticule move faster, while holding A slows its speed to provide a way to accurately line up shots. Balloons will randomly appear throughout the wide, non-scrolling landscape, and stringing combos of the same color or picking off balloons with the number on it will yield extra points. The scores of all players are constantly displayed in the upper right corner, so you can keep an eye on your competition at all times. You can also see your opponent's cursor, which comes in handy when trying to select a target. Balloons can also change color mid-flight. Some are further away, and some fly more horizontally than vertically. It's crazy balloon madness! The landscape is composed of a horizon of water at the base of the screen, followed by a grassy hill, some mountains in the distance, and a clear sky above. The colored balloons stand out against this backdrop, making your targets easier to see, especially when playing on a backlit GBASP. The gimmick, though, comes from the day-night cycle. As time starts winding down, day turns into evening, and then eventually into night. Besides looking like the green night vision effect from Splinter Cell, all balloons start looking the same during the night, making it tricky to hit a bonus. It's an interesting mechanic that brings necessary variety to what otherwise might be a plain and boring experience. There is no music during Balloon Shoot, which does leave the gameplay feeling a little empty, but at least the rifle sound effects will let players know when their opponents are taking shots. When the game is over and the results are displayed, players are taken back to the main menu where they can start a new game without having to turn the power off and resend the data. There's also a connection loss screen that hangs if a player's connection is severed. Honestly, Silent Scope's single pack link mode offers some short-lived fun. You probably won't want to play more than two rounds at a time, but shooting balloons, especially with the day-night cycle, is a creative alternative than a standard skeet shoot or duck hunting. Silent Scope also comes from a time when Konami was actually making games. Remember that? Ah, yeah, the good old days. So let me know what you think. Did you play Silent Scope in the arcade, the home console port with the big light gun, or even this GBA port? Did you take advantage of the single pack link mode? Have you ever assassinated a balloon from over a mile away? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and until next time, game on.